What is the mark of the beast? The main passage in the Bible that mentions the mark of the beast is Revelation 13, 15 through 18. All right, then. Shalom, 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 shalom. For the good dog, good boy, Yahweh, there. Just some more precepts. First, we start by giving our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Ha, Ruch, Kodash. All praise to Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elder apostle, elder bishop, so great, most stones do well. Peace, blessed to the hopeful elect. Shalom, shalom. <coughs> So I'm going to name this one, what is the MOTB, man? What is it? Is it a um, fairy tale? Is it a, 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 a something dealing with your phone? What is it, man? All right, so this article I ran up on April 5th, 2021. Um, was when they made it. Well, it's through the spirit that I ran up on this. Looking for a lesson to do. So technology under your skin, okay? Three challenges of, okay, um, the Resident Evil chip implants. As technology to, to as slunky, as technology continues to get closer to merge with our bodies, from the smartphones in our hands to the smartwatches on our wrists to earbuds, now it's getting getting under our skin literally, with a tiny Resident Evil chip. A Human Resident Evil chip implant is typically an identif identifying an integrated circuit device or RFID, radio frequency identification, transponder encased in silicate glass and implanted in the body of a human being. This typical, this type, Solankia, like this type of subdermal implant usually contains a unique ID number that can be linked to information contained in an external database, such as personal identification law enforcement, medical history, medications, allergies, and con contact information. So, um, Revelation 13 um, states that he calls all both smaller, afraid, rich, or poor, free, or bond, and receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, except he to have the number, the mark, the MOTB, or the number of his name. Okay, and the number of his name is 603 score and 6. Okay. Okay, and um, just like they were saying, uh, this this Resident Evil chip is gonna be um having all your birth records, your medical records, your personal identification, your contact information. It's like an external database, like a computer, man. It's gonna have all the stuff so they can all keep up with you without having to go through so many different measures or or or, or um, having to go through so many um, different obstacles to. And find out who you are, man. This is gonna be like um, when they brand a, 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 a cow, man. Okay, when you brand a cow, when you mark a cow as your pet, or being a farmer, you give a cow. Um, they give the cows like earrings, and the cow got a specific number on. It. That's how this gonna be, man. Except this gonna be under one man, one world order. Okay. In Sweden, thousands have residue with chips inserted in their hands. The chip are designed to speed up users' daily routines and make their lives more convenient. Accessing their homes, offices, and gyms, and as easy as swiping their hands against digital readers. Um, chips also can be used to store emergency contact details, social media profiles, or um, e-tickets for event and rail journeys. Okay, as you see, you see what Jawan Osterlund has in his hand, man. It's something about the size of a grain of rice, you know, that they can easily slide up under the skin, man. Easily insert in the skin. And, and this is, um, this this hasn't been on Earth. This will be something new for future properties. Like, they just started doing this. This wasn't during the time of the uh, garden, okay? And it's not the same as being, having a mark of exemption, meaning Dawa. It's not the same. Having a MOTB, okay? Meaning that you're on um, property of the man that's that's running the earth right now, man. Okay. And, uh, meaning that the, you're his property, man. Meaning um, if, if they'll know if you ain't got the Resident Evil vaccines, they'll know if you they they'll know everything about you, man. It's like like you're a walking satellite, man. Okay. 
It's a really ain't what I just want to touch bases on. Hey, it's on its way, man. You know, they're they're talking about literally, and that's what it look like, like a computer chip, man. Technology under your skin, and they saying these are challenges. Okay, advocates of the tiny uh, chips say they're safe and largely protected by from hacking. But scientists are raising privacy, privacy concerns around the kind of personal health data that might be stored on devices. Okay, as I said, around the size of a grain of rice, the chips typically are inserted into the skin just above each thumb, user's thumb, you, uh, using a syringe similar to that used to giving vaccinations. Implanting on chips in humans has privacy and security implications that go well beyond camera, cameras in public places. Facial recognition, tracking of our location, our driving habits, our spending history, and even beyond ownership of your data. So that's right, man. The Captain Thong Red Rat gonna know everything about you, man. You're gonna be his. You're like his pet now, man. Like up on the on movie Megiddo, he said, um, uh, uh, um, "These are my trophies, man." Okay, that's what the um, the anti messiah said on there. Okay. These are my trophies, the souls of men that follow him, follow his philosophy, follow his system, man. Okay. All right, let's go to the challenges. First challenge is, um, as a sensor, the chip touches upon your hand, your heart, your brain, and the rest of your body, literally. This new development is set to give a quite different meaning to hacking the body or biohacking. So if the first challenge is people gonna still think it's hacking or biohacking the body, man. You're gonna be a walking bioweapon for for better words. Okay. And they say it's the weakest link in LOT systems, okay? Okay, they um think that the risk of hacking like um I guess some end time type movie stuff. In timing with Justin Timberlake, if you ever watched that. All right, then you have um, the second challenge. Uh, the first challenge is was is technology. The second challenge is business. But they gonna make this chip work. Technology, business, and all that is one and the same. It says um. Um, it says presents a huge opportunity for many players in all types of businesses and industries and private and public sectors. And it says they provide a key physical data and further processing of that data in the cloud to deliver business insights, new treatments, and better services. It presents a huge opportunity for many players in all types of businesses and industries and private and public sectors. So they say the second challenge is getting this to run through the business business uh, corporations. And the first challenge is to technolo technology corporations. And the third challenge is society as individuals gr try to grapple with the privacy and security implications that come with technology like LOT, big data, public and private sector data, British social media sharing, GDPR, a new California privacy law, CCPA, along with data ownership and right to be forgotten provisions, along come a set of technologies that will be become much more personal than your smartphone or cloud storage history and a tiny uh, chip under your skin is sitting at the top of the list of technology posing new risks and threats. So, hey, they trying to figure out how to make this uh, a thing that's not of security, safety, and privacy, man. They trying to make it a thing where people accept it, just like they did with the um, Resident Evil Max team, man. So, they, they, they gonna force this on you, Jakes, man. They, they telling you the three challenges, but, hey, the New World Order gonna consist of these challenges not being a problem, okay? Because it's already in the making, man. Okay? Because cause, cause, um, getting this is being property of Esau Edom. Getting this is being a guinea pig, for better words. All right, so a little willing to just edify. Hey, go check this out. The, the three challenges of the MOTB, man. This is an update. So call Halayim Allah Alaha Nabi Hal Bashim Al Shah Bashim Al Kakadash. Double honest to the elder apostle, elder bishops of great millstones do well. Peace, bless the hopeful lit. Hey, shalom, shalom. And the Lord said also, um, um, be not fooled by Shatan's devices, man. Let me get that.
2 Corinthians 2 and 11. These Shatan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, that shall I warm to the next one.